Hello, ahoy, and welcome to this third instalment of Captain's Questions. This is where I answer all your CRISP-related questions that you have left me in the comments or sent me a private message to ask me to answer. Now, I am the man in charge, Captain Crisps. So, let's start off with the first question, and it comes from Tim. He asks, Captain, could I ask your opinion on the virtues of a crisp sandwich? And which flavour might work well with a seeded farmhouse cob? Now, I assume you mean like a roll of some description with that, so like a seeded roll. Um, do you know what? With a, with like a seeded roll, I would definitely go with uh, something that's a bit more wholesome, something maybe a bit more like whole foodsy. So maybe like a like a hummusy based crisp or. Or something that's just a little bit not not your run of the mill. So, um, tell you what, tell you what, crisp would be perfect is the the crisp that we have coming for episode seven of Captain's Crisps. So to see your answer, tune in to episode seven because that is the perfect crisp I would say for a seeded roll. So thank you, Tim, for the question. Our next question comes from Matt. And he asks, why is a tenant's beer the best drink pairing for any packet of crisps? Never had one, maybe I should. Well, Matt, it's because you haven't had one is why you don't know the answer to your own question. Have a pint of tenant's and you will know exactly what I mean. And who knows, there might be a different drinks pairing at some point, but so far the tenant's has pulled its weight every time. But yeah, get on it, drink some tenant's, and you'll see exactly what I mean. So thank you, Matt, for the question. Um, next question comes from George, and he asks, would you, would you rather never eat crisps again or only eat crisps for the rest of your life? Six and a half hours later. Thank you for the question, George. Um, the next question comes from another George, and he says, huge fan of the show. I'm glad you are, mate. Uh, and he asks, uh, I'm dying to know, what's the best and worst Pringles flavors of them all? He says, personally, that he's a big, he's a big paprika fan and also a prawn cocktail fan. But what do I think? Now, for, I personally, and I know this is controversial because I've had many conversations with many different uh, colleagues and uh, shipmates of mine, and I absolutely despise sour cream and onion Pringles. I don't know why. I just uh, they hurt your tongue a little bit, and I just don't like it. So I would say they are definitely the worst flavour. And my, my honestly, mate, I've got to agree with you. Uh, the the paprika ones are incredible so and I think the prawn cocktail ones are also pretty nice as well um, so yeah I completely agree with you with your favorite flavors so uh, who knows maybe they'll be on the show soon maybe they won't be well you'll just have to keep watching and wait and see now thank you for the question George now the next question comes from Grace and she asks how is it possible that the makers of Monster Munch created the greatest of all flavors beef crisp of gods she says and yet at the same time be responsible for the most he 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 heinous there we go heinous of crisp crimes the abomination that is pickled onion flavor which on the monster munch she says tastes like battery acid now the real question is how do you know what battery acid tastes like um because if you've been drinking that stuff, stop. We don't want that. We don't want any crisp eating is not a contact sport. And we we want to eat crisps responsibly. But I have to disagree with you. I love a pickled onion. There's just something about it. It's the, it's the intense acidic flavor that I just love. Um, so I don't, I, I personally don't think it's a crisp crime at all. But thank you for the question. And uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the show. Um, and the last question comes from a different Tim. And he asks, 
You're at the bar. The barman is pouring you a nice, cool pint of tenants. Well done. You ask him, what crisps have you got that I could pair with my beverage? Now, what is the best and worst brand slash flavor he could offer you? Now, in a pub, I would say there are there are no bad crisps that you can have because I mean as long as you're drinking a cool pint of tenants you can't go wrong with any crisps really but my biggest qualm with crisps in pubs is just the price I know I want to be spending one pound fifty on a wee bag of crisps so British pub industry sort it out lower your crisp prices we want I want to go back to those golden wonder days where they're about 30p per packet of crisps in the pub. Now, I do like the artisani ones as well. They are quite tasty. But I just don't want to be paying £1.50 for a packet of crisps in a pub. So really, what the my answer to the question wouldn't really be anything to do with your question at all. It would be the cheaper, the better. And yeah, thank you, Tim, for asking that question. And... There we are. We've come to the end of this Captain's Questions. Make sure that you like the video and potentially share it with your friends. Make sure you've liked on the Facebook, Instagram and Twitter pages and you're subscribed to the main YouTube page as well where I give all of my full length reviews. And also uh, comment any more questions you've got and any crisp suggestions because I'm always looking for more questions and of course more crisp suggestions. So, yeah, thank you very much and uh, keep crunching.